phrasal verbs. Again. I'm just so stuck on phrasal verbs. I think they're so important, especially if you want to take the IELTS speaking test. The only way to get the higher band scores above six is using idiomatic language like phrasal verbs. Stick. Why stick? I don't know. I was thinking of Harry Potter and his magic stick thing, and you know, I don't even like Harry Potter. Why did I give you that? I don't know. Stick to or stick with. This means continue. Never quit. You should stick with studying phrasal verbs. You should stick with studying English. Please stick with JJ. Or don't quit. Stick to it. Stick up for. This means defend or support a friend when they need help. It's usually when they're having an argument or a fight with someone. You come to their aid. It's not about sticks or fighting with a sword or a knife or anything like that. Please don't do that. It just means you defend your friend. Stick out. This means be different. Stick out from the crowd. Stick out in your class. Similar to the phrase of verb stand out. It's not a positive or negative thing. It just means be different than everyone else. Did you know we also have phrasal adjectives? They come from the verb form. We have to change the form. Stick becomes stuck. Stuck on. This is similar to stick with. I am stuck on phrasal verbs. I don't want to stop teaching them. I always want to teach you new phrasal verbs. I'm stuck on this. Stuck up. This is for someone who's rich and expects high quality things like a hotel or an expensive dinner. You can call them stuck up. Stuck for. This is a decision you make and you have to continue with it. It's like moving to an apartment and you sign a lease, a one-year lease. Then you are stuck for that lease. You have to pay the whole thing. We also have phrasal nouns, which come directly from the phrasal verb. An add-on. This means to add one more thing. Like you're shopping online. Do you want an add-on item? Do you want another add-on to this purchase? A run-on, like a run-on sentence. It's a sentence that never ends and you can't find a way to end the sentence because it's just kind of a run-on sentence. You don't actually know when to stop the sentence. There's way too many commas in that sentence. <sighs> That's too long. A hard-on. The who I show, huh, shouldn't teach you that one. Oh crap, hmm, hmm, yeah. Just Google that one yourself. But don't image search. Don't search images for that. Uh, yeah, okay. Phrasal verbs, phrasal adjectives, phrasal nouns, 